Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. We're so excited to be talking to you about how Oracle and Equinix can help you deliver flexible multi-cloud solutions. Equinix is one of our partners that enables us to connect seamlessly with other cloud vendors and on-premises deployments. My name is Akshay. I'm part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure product marketing team. I have over a decade of experience in technology, working first as an engineer and then migrating over to marketing. Mike and Jim, could you please introduce yourselves? Hello, my name is Mike Mersch, and I'm a product manager within OCI and the database team here at Oracle. And I focus on multi-cloud architectures, references, and use cases. Hello, I'm Jim Scudero at Equinix. I'm a Global Alliance Director dedicated to the relationship between Oracle and Equinix, and I'm responsible for delivering our global go-to-market strategy. Thanks so much, Mike and Jim. So let's get to the topic for today, which is multi-cloud. On the chart here, what you see is that 92% of organizations, according to Accenture, are adopting multi-cloud strategies. The other thing to note is that Oracle Cloud is the only provider that has a unified strategy and a set of tools to make the most use of assets in a multi-cloud environment. They're saying this because we have established partnerships with organizations such as Equinix that are experts in the cloud connectivity space. And Oracle also has an open strategy towards cloud computing and offers capabilities such as observability and management across different clouds. Let me now take you to one of our customers that is deploying a multi-cloud strategy. MyNet is an online business that redesigns mobile games in Japan. They're using Oracle Cloud infrastructure for compute, networking, storage, and a variety of other services. Their multi-cloud deployments consist of Oracle, Alibaba Cloud, Google Cloud, AWS, a total of seven vendors. What they've found is that with the use of multi-cloud, they reduce the possibility of disruption. If one of the clouds is unavailable, it is very likely that the other vendors can support their games that are running on those other platforms. The second thing to note is that Cloud vendors such as Oracle are providing superior price performance and they are beneficial for certain titles that require those characteristics. So as you see in the statistics here, 80% reduction in cloud costs with OCI and 6x reduction in the time processing for batch jobs also with OCI. You know, one of the things we have learned is that there's also some complexity uh, uh, associated with adopting multi-cloud. Um, and so Mike and Jim will tell you how Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and Equinix can reduce some of that complexity. I'll now pass it over to Michael to tell us more about multi-cloud and Oracle's offerings in this space. Well, thank you, Akshay. Building upon what he said about what we're seeing in the trends, I want to give a couple of slides on the perspective from the product management. So let's take a look at a couple of the customer environments that we're talking about. OCI embraces multi-cloud. So 100%, we expect 100% of the OCI customers to be in a multi-cloud environment either today or in the near future. So who is adopting a multi-cloud environment? These are often our most important customers that are leveraging our most important products to run the most critical workloads. So think of the top customers, top consuming customers of OCI. A large percentage of these, of the top 100 OCI customers, are leveraging our Fast Connect partners to connect to multiple cloud providers. So why are customers choosing OCI as the best of breed platform? So simplified everyday low pricing. So OCI was launched in the 2016 timeframe, and well after some of the other clouds were, were already in the market. And that really gave us the opportunity to take a look at what were the pain points that customers were incurring when they were adopting a public cloud vendor. Pricing was one of them. So we want everyday low pricing. We want this to be the best place to consume virtual CPUs. Key enterprise capabilities are included for free. Wherever possible, Oracle has been continuing the methodical approach to innovating on the OCI platform. Very interesting to note the networking pricing. 
So when you really look at the networking pricing and compare the Oracle network pricing with AWS, Azure, and GCP, you're going to see some significant differences. Most comprehensive SLAs. So from the early days of OCI, we tried to compete on service level agreements. We recognize as, as people were moving to the public cloud, they wanted that confidence that was going to be up and running. So we offered SLAs on, uh, on every aspect of their cloud environments. These are just some of the reasons why people are choosing OCI as the best of breed platform to run, not just the Oracle products, but all of their workloads. So the four core reasons why companies are choosing the Oracle database on OCI, the Exadata database machine. As we mentioned, these are performance gains. When you're running the Oracle database on specifically designed hardware for that piece of software, you can achieve performance gains that are really in, the, in a different league from what you can do in the rest of the industry. You know, comparing the Oracle database on Exadata to something like a Postgres database running on commodity hardware, uh, the performance is just really not even comparable. So it's not five times faster, 10 times faster. We're talking hundreds of times faster than, uh, than commodity hardware. Rack is a second one. So real application clusters. So if you want to run your Oracle database in a high availability mode, the easiest way to do that is to run the Rack service, which is still only available on the OCI cloud platform. Thirdly, there is the autonomous database. Again, Autonomous is only available on, on OCI. This is our latest and greatest innovation to help speed performance, but also ensure security of running the database on the Oracle Cloud Platform. Beyond these three core uh, pillars, Oracle has a myriad of options that you can run the Oracle database under. We wanna make sure that they continue to use the Oracle database product in the most performant, most optimized way. And that is to run it on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So again, Oracle embraces the multi-cloud environment. Every day we're adding new reference architectures and new use cases about how our customers are adopting a multi-cloud environment running the database and Oracle products on OCI connected to other clouds. So some of the things that we're doing are, which are core to our development process is Oracle public regions. So expansion has been a core capability of Oracle, right? So we are ex ever expanding our number of regions. In fact, the number on this slide is even already outdated. We're ever grow, ever increasing the number of public regions that we make available. We've also, were the first to launch a dedicated region. And this is really an exciting portion of, of OCI where we take the exact same software platform that's running our public cloud, we shrink it down and make it available as a dedicated region to a specific customer. So a single customer can make use of all the benefits and all the services, every service that's available in OCI public in their own private dedicated region. Equinix is our premier fast connect partner. We see a lot of our largest customers adopting Equinix. And we'd like to go into an in-depth uh, look at not only how we use Equinix to connect to OCI, but more importantly, how can we use uh, leverage Equinix to do cross cloud connectivity? How can we connect easily through Equinix to connect OCI as your database platform, connect it easily to say, AWS or some other CSP. Jim, over to you. Thanks, Michael, I appreciate the time. So for, for those of you that may not know a lot about Equinix, we are the first and largest Fast Connect partner for Oracle. We have data, center, uh, data centers around the world uh, in 26 different countries. We are the world's largest colo provider, but most importantly, now we are the world's largest interconnection provider. And what that means is, if you see this map here, I know it's a little hard to read, uh, but the map is um, locations where Equinix has their data centers and all those lines that are connecting those dots are our backbone, our networking backbone that not only connects our data centers, but also connects to all the uh, cloud service providers and content providers um, that uh, er uh, enterprise customers want to connect to. Um, we simplify your interconnection to these uh, service providers. We have over 2,900 different service providers around the world, um, all the big uh, cloud service providers as well as content providers. And we can connect you in a very um, uh, low latency, private, uh, and low cost uh, network. Uh, it bypasses the public internet and reduces the security threat uh, that's on the internet. So across these 220 plus data centers, we can easily interconnect your facilities, 
cloud providers and content providers, and maybe even business to business providers. What Equinix provides is a very simple, low cost network uh, connection to the various cloud providers, as I mentioned, over 2,900 cloud and IT providers, uh, SaaS providers, um, and we have it in a very simple, low cost and secure model. So as an example, a split stack architecture here, where we might have Oracle um, Exadata cloud service um, connected over FastConnect into the Oracle cloud and applications being run in AWS connected also with their version called uh, Direct Connect. It would be connected through our fabric and then through this network edge, which is a virtualized network service. So this is not hardware. This is a virtualized environment that you can easily configure. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Now this entire connection here between the two clouds uh, roughly costs $1,600 a month. If you can read the small numbers at the bottom left, um, and uh, it, it might go up to maybe $2,500 a month, depending on how fast you want your speeds. So this is a very low cost environment, uh, very secure. And uh, from the fabric out to these clouds, it's high speed um, and uh, secure as well from those services you would buy from the cloud providers. So this is a typical example where we have hundreds of customers running this type of split stack architecture, database in one cloud, applications in the other cloud. A majority of them have their database in the Oracle Cloud and applications in AWS, Azure, or Google. As I mentioned, that network edge termination point inside of Equinix uh, is all configured through a portal and a very simple uh, configuration mode. You can see in, in the top uh, left of this diagram here, there's a screenshot in yellow that says create a connection. You get onto a browser, you click create a connection, you choose the cloud provider that you want, say Oracle Cloud. Then you choose the virtual networking equipment that you want at the bottom left in the select locations. And then you say connect to fast connect. And in number four there at the bottom right, you submit your order. It takes about 30 minutes to do this. We have network engineers that are uh, available to help you do this. So you don't have to be experts on how to configure this. We do it all with you for free. This is a regional uh, diagram here. Uh, it only shows nine locations. However, we connect to all the Oracle Cloud locations around the world through FastConnect, um, and we offer um, various services to the other cloud providers through Microsoft uh, and uh, Google and uh, Amazon in a similar manner. The Equinix advantage really with um, our customer base is our Equinix fabric. As I mentioned, it is our major backbone that connects all of our facilities, all of the cloud providers around the world in an easy, fast to configure, and secure way of connections. Network Edge um, can terminate the customer's network uh, from their premise into an Equinix facility using virtual network services and can be configured in less than 30 minutes um, in all of these multi-cloud environments. We are the multi-cloud expert. We have over 150 global solution architects to help you architect, implement um, your cloud connectivity uh, environment. These cloud architects are at your disposal for free. We do not charge for these uh, architects to help you with your multi-cloud connectivity. Thanks so much, Jim. So there are many benefits to adopting Oracle Cloud infrastructure, but the one I wanna focus on is our complete hybrid and multi-cloud support. What we are doing, as Mike elaborated earlier in the presentation, is that through offerings such as our partnership with Equinix, the Azure Interconnect, our capabilities for Exadata on-premises in the cloud, autonomous database, and many other features, including built-in security, we are really providing a cloud environment that is really optimal for your hybrid and multi-cloud workloads. Here are some resources where you can get more information. So in order to reach us, please use the Contact Us form or reach your Oracle Cloud sales rep. We also have a web page for Oracle, oracle.com slash multi-cloud, that can provide more information on our products and services, including things like Fast Connect. Equinix has a dedicated page for Oracle, and you can find more information about their superior uh, connectivity solutions for multi-cloud and hybrid cloud. Finally, if you want to kick the tires with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, 
please take it for a spin. Try the Oracle Cloud free tier. So thank you so much for joining us in this webinar. We look forward to seeing you on the next installment of this webinar series.